Welcome back to another episode of uh, me talking. It's your boy Dakota from Fitment Industries where we specialize in the good old wheels, in the tires, in the suspenders, all right? Today, my friends, we're not talking about what your cur, cur, your cur looks from the earth, sir. Oh no, so many times I'll be walking around a car show and see a beautiful build and when I go to look, the interior, Stop. In my opinion, your interior is just as important as your exterior cosmetics. It's literally where you're gonna be spending most of your time. Make it nice, and I'm here to help you out. We will start this off easy because me and you both know uh, we like cheap and uh, we like easy installs. I think there's a joke to be made there, but we're gonna keep on moving. I already know you're driving a manual too, so uh, we're gonna be talking about shift knobs. Now this might seem obvious as hell, but it's important to bring up. A shift knob should be one of the first mods you do to your car. Not only is it an easy upgrade that can be done in minutes, it's an easy way to personalize your car and make it your own. Most cars are threaded and you can just spin that pup be right off without doing too much you know it's pretty easy make sure you get the correct thread pitch for your shift knob a quick google search will help you get that right most will come with adapters to fit your make and model so it's not much to worry about however some like to make things a little more difficult for example my wagoon has a metal clip that needs to be chopped off in order to get the knob off because i have no f***ing idea german cars feel the need to do everything slightly different for no apparent reason uh, generally though, this is an easy process and gives you the satisfaction of doing something to your car without breaking the whole piggy bank. Next up, going right along with the shift knob, upgrade that mother trucker to a short throw. A lot of times people believe this is shortening the height of your shifter, which might be the case for some, but it's actually changing the actual throw of your shifter. This is another fairly easy job that you can do with a couple of wrenches and screwdrivers and prying plastic pieces off your interior. Honestly, installing a short throw with some upgraded shifter bushings in my Cobalt SS back in the day was one of my favorite mods I've ever done. Most stock shifters feel like you're putting an ax into a wet log. With a shorter throw and upgraded bushing, that some bitch is gonna feel like uh, you're the Terminator pumping another slug in your shotgun. Although you don't get the satisfaction of anything cosmetically, you're driving experience for sure makes up for it. Believe me, this is 100% worth it. Now, speaking of cosmetics, we might as well bring up upgrading your trim. There's a couple ways to go about this, and my favorite is seeing what I can replace with carbon fiber. A lot of cars have aftermarket support, but there's also some OEM plus options for some make and models to replace your plastic trim with carbon fiber pieces. Now, as you know, carbon fiber can get a bit pricey, and the good news is the trim is generally pretty small pieces, so it's usually not gonna break the bank. But what if you don't want carbon fiber? I got you. Vinyl wrapping is a super effective way to change your trim interior pieces and change the overall look of the interior of your car. Not to mention this is a great way to brush up on your wrapping skills. Nowadays you can get vinyl in any color, any pattern, and get enough for your interior and mess up probably five times and still have some pocket change left. Another great mod that is going more towards the pricier route is an aftermarket set of seats. Some cars come with amazing factory seats. Even my Focus ST came with full leather Recaros. But since I'm an idiot, I ripped those out uh, because I wanted to try out aftermarket seats because I just never did it before. However, some cars' seats are definitely worth upgrading. And this is a mod I strongly recommend not cheaping out on. Not only for safety reasons, but also comfort. Your ass is gonna thank you later. Trust me on this one. There are a lot of things to consider when hopping into a new set of seats though. So make sure you do your homework. Make sure you find the proper brackets to fit your car or have a shop that can actually make some good ones and get it all fabricated nice. Another thing is to make sure the f***ing seats fit in your car, all right? There should be info on the website for the dimensions of the seat, so make sure to go measure your car before you dump your paycheck on seats that end up being better off mounted in a Hummer H2. And you know what goes hand in hand with that? Make sure you fit in the seats, bud, all right? Us thick boys definitely need to check that out. That's an important one. We don't fit in all the seats. Seats. I, I can trust me. Again, on the sites with the seats you're looking at, it should have the dimensions for uh, you know us big boys, and it'll put the recommended weights or heights for the seats you're looking at. Not all seats are approved for the track either, so if you're going to be doing a lot of track stuff, take that into consideration when picking out your seats. Some great ones we recommend are Corbo, Sparco, Bride, and Recaro. There are even more options out there though, so make sure to take a look. So that about wraps this episode up, and there's still more you can do from audio upgrades to LED 
LED lighting. The options are endless. So tell me your favorite mod you've done. I'd love to hear it so I can go spend more money on my uh, depreciating focus, all right? If your interior is done, don't forget to check out www.fitmentindustries.com for all your wheels, tires, and suspension needs. Bye.